For my very first, my inaugural YouTube video, I've decided to do a quick tip for the new Star Wars Fallen Jedi. I'm going to trickle this content out. Yeah, trickle. I've got a lot of other things to do, so go ahead and subscribe because it isn't like I'm going to be blowing up your phone with push notifications. Moving on to this heavyweight optional boss, the rabid Yotaz. Jotaz? I don't know, pronounce it however you want. After moving through the game, you'll eventually pick up Force Push for Cal and Overcharge for BD-1. On the planet of Zepho, you'll come across a large open area with a Star Destroyer in the distance. You'll take a plunge into a body of water. Swim off to the left, avoid the Fat Ogre as I've done here, or fight him if you want. Climb up to the ledge, have BD-1 end the charge on the Red Force Field and work your way through a gap, up some stairs, and into the boss room. Just what we needed. Now the first thing you want to do in the boss room is get in a plunge attack. So position yourself above the boss, leap toward him, and as long as he isn't expecting it, you'll get an attack prompt on your way down. So get that free chunk of health out of the way. Get the hell out of dodge after that. On Grandmaster difficulty, this guy can kill you faster than a Modern Warfare corner camper with a 725 shotgun. Next, you're looking for a broken door. You can force push open. But once you're in this hallway, you're golden. Now it's just a matter of waiting for the boss to finish a two or three, usually three, combo swing. Between his combos, you roll in for a one or two combo swing of your own. If you have an overhead slash, you can safely get in one of those attacks between his combos for big chunks of health. Anyway, do this until he's dead. Continue along the path that's through the door you force pushed open. At the end of that path, you'll fall through to the lower level. Continue along that linear route until you reach a room with a turbine and a switch. Using the switch, position the turbine as shown, swim up to it, climb up, for a well-hidden echo. Just what we needed. Now saber that cable on the other side of the room, and then swim over to the switch and hit it again. Take the elevator to the top, you'll find a force essence there and another switch which activates the doors in that room and the fan in the boss room. Now all there is to do is backtrack. Hey thanks for watching. If this video helps two or three people, I'm happy. I'm going to be going live for the first time ever at twitch.tv slash Knox on Black Friday, November 29th at 6.30pm Eastern Standard Time. And if this video helped you, I hope to see you there.